Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody has had a fabulous past two weeks. We have really kicked it into high gear around here and gotten so much done around the house. We've gotten trim put up in the other kids' bedrooms, trim put up in the living room, the bathroom door built for the guest bathroom in the hallway, and we have also got a big clearance find that I scored at Walmart a couple of weeks ago. And I can't wait to show you all that at the end of the video. But most importantly, we have got our island built now. And I cannot wait to show you guys the finished product. Come on, Bob the Builder. We got stuff to build. Can we build it? Yes, we can. <laughs> I need a Red Bull. A Red Bull? Ugh. They give you wings. <laughs> Maybe it'd help you get up off that couch. <laughs> so where did all these boards come from? Concrete porch. Do what? The concrete around the porch. The concrete around the porch. You know, where I had to buy the ones to form the porch. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be the island, or baker's table, whatever you want to call it. So it may not look like it, <laughs> but if you've seen what it looked like before, then you'll understand. But it looks a whole lot better than it did. He cleaned it out. We brought the saws that were on the porch over there, over here, so he could work up under the carport. He's got White and Carson's hammocks out drying because he's going to take them on a kayaking camping trip with his dad um, in a couple of weeks. So he's letting those dry out because they've been laying out in the rain. But anyways, we are getting started on our island. So we are building a 10 foot table but two of the three boards that we had were um, about a quarter inch shorter than the other one. So he's just cutting those down right now to make sure they're all the same length. Someone woke me up this morning. Did it? I didn't get up though. <laughs> now he's just sanding all of the corners down and the edges. To give it more of a curved look, um, that way it looks a little more older and worn in, rustic if you will. Um, so that took a little while. He also had to get all of the concrete off of it because as he said before, these were used when he built the form for the front porch when we poured the concrete for it. So he had to get all of that off of there. Um, for the most part, it came off, and you can't even tell what it was used for. But it saved us a little bit of money because we didn't have to buy three 10-foot tuba tins. So, there you go. After the sanding's done, it's time to put some stain on the boards. We just went with chestnut because it's the same color we done on our kitchen countertops. And we wanted it to look cohesive, so we just went with that. And obviously you can choose whatever color you want that better goes with your style. But we like the darker wood tones.
So we actually had to make the countertop for the island a little smaller than we originally planned because of the space that we had to work with in between the table and where the island was going to go. Um, <clears throat> our countertops on our cabinets are 25 inches wide and the countertops on the island is 28 inches wide. So they're a little bit larger than the counters but um, it does the job for what we needed it for, basically just for um, serving food and for four people to set at when they're over or, you know, the kids to eat breakfast at or lunch. And so you might want to, you might want to make it a little wider. I kind of wish that we could have made it ours a little wider, but we just had what we had to work with. So... <laughs> In order to keep enough room in between where the table's going to go and where the island is and for chairs to fit in between them without it being too squished up or anything, this is the size that we needed to make it. As for the height of our island, I wanted it to be about the same as our kitchen cabinet. And so Caleb was able to buy one 12 foot 4x4 post and cut it down accordingly. I want to say it was about 35 and a half inches tall each leg for our kitchen. So in order to get the measurements for the two before that go in between the legs, Caleb just flipped the countertop over, asked me where I wanted the post to set underneath, and I wanted a little bit of an overhang, so we moved it about three inches in on each side and then lengthwise we left about five inches overhang on the on each end so then he just marked where the posts were and measured the distance in between okay so what we're gonna do mark. is set the shelf that's gonna be on the bottom on top of here and it'll go lengthways that way So now we're just putting in some tuba twos and this is really just to give us something to screw the countertop into down the length of the island. Does it need to come down this way, so? Right there. No. Yeah. That's where it's going. Do what?
so now Caleb is just using these clamps to get a tight fit on it and then he's going to screw it in to those boards that he put in underneath. Alright, so it's clamped down. Do it. Moving it. Okay. What? After screwing the countertop down, we moved on to the bottom shelf, and right now he is just ripping down one of the boards that are going to go on the bottom. So these are the boards that are going on the bottom shelf of the island. What are you doing now, Caleb? What? <laughs> All the corners are cut. So this is the bottom of the bottom shelf and we are basically just doing that like we did the doors. Just laying them across there and we're going to clamp them as well just like we did the top. So originally we weren't going to put two befores around the bottom edges, but then we noticed that you could see the bracing boards underneath the bottom shelf. So then we decided to cut a little bit of those off and put the two befores up so that way it would hide that. Okay, so without a shim in, because the concrete isn't entirely level, this is what it does. It's pretty wobbly. And then he's going to put a shim in this corner down here because that's the high end. Tell me when you got it in there. And so now, 
It doesn't shake like that. Do what? I said, as promised, you can walk on it. You can walk on it? You did not believe me. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we just finished dinner and the island is almost done. So I'm going to get started on painting the legs. I'm painting it the same color green as I did my kitchen cabinets. So that way it looks a little more cohesive. And then when we build the table, I'm just going to stain the whole table the same color as the hutch. So that way those two match. Um, unfortunately, the hutch and our countertops are two different color stains. So that's why I decided to paint the bottoms because I wanted it to match the kitchen and not the hutch, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to get started on that. you guys the paint is finished now we just gotta flip it back over so in order to fit the two before on the bottom to hide these because they were sticking out and you could see them so in order to fit the two before in he had to cut these down
<laughs> All right, you guys. I found this bad boy for ninety dollars. It's an eight by ten. All right, I just swept and mopped the area. Hold on, let it dry out a little bit. <laughs> We're getting ready to put it down. All right, it's dry. Love it. Now I just need me a coffee table in the middle of it. Or the ottoman that actually goes to this, but that ottoman is huge. It would probably go, it would probably cover that much of it. So I don't know if I want the ottoman or the coffee table. Probably with four kids, the ottoman would be the best option. But it's like three or four hundred dollars. And Caleb could just make a coffee table for a lot cheaper than that. <laughs> I mean, he's already making the island and the table, so, you know, what more could a coffee table be? <laughs> Alright, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out to create more content, and we really appreciate it. With that being said, I hope we will see you all in the next video where we hope to get a whole lot more checked off of our to-do list. It is three little pages long. <laughs> As you all can see, Caleb has got everything wrote down that we need to do. So, stay tuned for more. See y'all later. Bye.